stereo now so if you press the home button on your stereo you will get a split screen you'll get what's on the radio and the map of where you are currently you don't have to do anything with the map it's not you've not put any directions in it's just literally showing you where you are um, and that is a fixed oh, just because I've pressed on it and it's gone so that's that's fixed if you want to move away from that you've got mode there that will bring you the same as you press this button here the mode button it gives you your radio media so if you're plugging in an iPod or something like that Bluetooth for your phone there's Apple CarPlay and Android player depending on which sort of phone you've got and I will put the Android player in shortly you've got Bluetooth music so once we connect the phone up you've got music on your phone you can play that um, your music will come into that and then navigation so you can press the navigation of that the map will come up you can press the Bluetooth on that and the way to connect your phone will come up. Now, if we're on the radio and we want to play, no, let's go back a second. We're listening to the radio and we want to, to put some navigation in. We literally just press the Navi button. That will give us our screen. So it's a full TomTom -tom screen. You can drag that screen around. It's not working very well, my rubber gloves. You can narrow in you can go out you have plus and minus so you can also zoom in and out on the plus and minus and then you have a little arrow above there if you press that little arrow that will take you down into 2d so we'll come out of that press the little arrow again it will come up so to set any uh, any directions in we press the menu button in the bottom corner that will then bring up a little sub menu you press search you put in an address, so we'll just go. So we'll just put in an address there. That's where I used to live. So it's give us the address. We click on there, and it's now said to drive. Do you want to drive there? So you press drive. It will work out the route for us. And as we drive along, it will tell us what we need to do. And then when we get there, we literally press the little buttons down in the bottom corner. We've now got a current route has come up and we clear it like that. And that's it, that's as easy as that gets. You can obviously make it a lot more difficult if you want to, but that is the simplest way to use that particular system.